This is the same owner. It's not really. This is the same owner of the Cocker uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, April 13, 2014 Sunday. Now the ears in, in this uh, Jack Russell, 99% uh, to 100% no problem. Why? Because it's not covered, it's not frog up. I mean, it's, it's open up, you see there. And then uh, secondly, uh, you can lift up the ear. You can see that there is ventilation, uh, ventilation, and even water goes in, it, it, it dries up, you see. There's, there's drainage when the dog shakes his ears. I don't need as much ear hairs. Okay, so the Cabrera King Charles, you are quite happy because of the, you can go swimming, right? Yeah, because the ears are mm. very easily ventilated mm. and no waters will be trapped inside mm. the ear canal, unlike this the, kind. The, 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 uh, the, yeah, the previous time. Uh. Yeah. Then uh, the other thing, uh, it's not smelly anymore, right? Yeah, no longer any smell and then um, you do not have to mm. take extra cautious about water mm. in the ears and stuff. So it saves a lot of trouble in the ear cleaning. Just maintenance time. and mm, time. Save time. So you are saying for the last four years you, you have never cleaned the ears at all? I would say so. Yeah, except for the groomer. Except for the groomer. He goes to the groomer the once a month. Once a month. So have you changed groomer recently? That's why the, the infection comes back again? Um, or was there some, some changes in new Perhaps groomer? it's just the cleaning or, or some issues that visit during that groomer. Was there a new groomer? Oh, it wasn't a new groomer. It right there before. But you may not do it. It may be a different person doing it. I believe it's the same person. Same person. Yeah, but I'm just not sure how he got it. Does he put ear powder? No, I never see ear powder. Does he clean the ear in the first place? Yeah. He told you? Uh, I always tell the groomer to clean it very carefully because the ear canals are open. So I always, before any grooming, I always mm. let the groomer see that the ear canals were open before. So mm. I told them to take extra care. Mm. So, um, and then if they can't do it because it's too sensitive, I'll just tell them to skip it Don't because it it's very easy mm. for me to maintain. Okay, so now we talk about this dog. This can see that there's how old is the dog? This is three. Ah, there's no no ear ear infection. You can see he doesn't use his leg to does he scratch not? No, no I, I, I I test the ear reflex. You see, but anyway, he's too nervous. Yeah, right he's too nervous. I cannot check the the ear reflex. Like he check, he rub he rub the ears. I can see there's no back leg. No rub the whole thing. Like, okay, there's no back leg. Uh, scratching. Uh, no rub further down the ear canal itself. You see, he has no ear problem. Otherwise, his leg will come out. As you saw just now, the other cocker spaniel, you see? If he press, he has no pain. He press the ear canal and the other side as well. Has he got any ear shaking? No. No smell? No. Uh, so, Jack Russell's are normally quite good. They don't have this problem. Well, because the ears is ventilated. Although it's, it, it, it's flopped now, but it doesn't flop down 100%. You see, there's no ventilation. And the shampoo went in also, right? Yeah. And he goes swimming? Go swimming? Uh, he goes swimming, but because he hasn't got ear hairs, I think. The hairy ears is one of the main problems. And the ventilation is better than floppy ears, yeah, yeah. than the King Charles. Mm. Okay, so now we'll vaccinate this fellow. Okay, finish.